There's so many children out there that really need good homes that can feel safe and loved. Daily we receive a number of referrals of children that we just can't place because we don't have the homes for them. My name is Karen Richardson and I'm a regional manager with Devereaux. A lot of people out there that want to make a difference don't quite know how to make a difference. Um, this is one way that you could do that um, by sharing your home with someone. I live in a three bedroom apartment in the city. Um, it's kind of a busy neighborhood. I have a teenager, she's 13, she's my bio child. And I have a three year old son and he's my bio child. So I kind of always have foster kids that are kind of in the middle of both my kids and they're mostly always girls. One of the rewards for being a foster parent is you don't notice how much patience you really do have, especially being a single parent, having two of my own bio kids, and being young, and that I can actually accomplish doing something that people with way more experience than me, I don't think could sometimes. My name is Christine Tomlin. I'm an assistant regional manager at Devereaux Therapeutic Foster Care. I've been with the agency for about six years now. One of my roles at Devereaux is placement of children in foster homes. We need to match the foster children, the age, the sex, um, whatever disabilities, mental health concerns, or trauma that they've experienced with a foster home that is prepared for those expectations for that child. And what I find is I have many more referrals than I have homes. So there's a very large need. Uh, we just have so many children that are in the systems in Massachusetts and in Rhode Island that need homes and there's just not enough. It's really the satisfaction of helping them and just making an impact in their life. Knowing that you are, you're changing their life basically. The most rewarding part is just seeing them happy. You know, because they have a lot of trauma. The most rewarding part about being a foster parent would just be to see that they're having good days, that there's some joy in their life. Whether they're going out feeding the goats or we did have chickens in the past, but there's other activities that are outside the normal loop of an inner city. And it's new for them and they kind of enjoy it. And so when they're enjoying it, we're enjoying it. Well, the most rewarding part of it is to know that I have changed the child you know, in some ways, you know, because when I just started, I was very scared because people tell you all different things about what foster care and how the kids are and stuff like that. And I said, well, I'm going to give it a chance. So I gave it a chance and I find it very rewarding. So we just have a one big family. We all talk and do things together as one family. No separation or nothing like that to say that she's a foster kid. So when the family get in, you know, it make it more stronger and it's better. 